hi there, hope you are all doing well. So today I'm going to try to not put lipstick all over my clothes and my face because I still have something. I'm not giving you the finger on my finger. I'm rather playing another layer of my lipstick. And where I'm going there? So back to the video. Uh, lipstick, yes, everything. Uh, what else did I want to tell you? Maybe what I'm going to talk about. I'm going to talk about the book I'm reading. I'm re I've read, yes, I've read. Uh, give you like a little bit of an update and everything. I wanted to film something again about books, but I don't know, it wasn't feeling as a great time. And now it's like kind of going back and in the, of the summer and everything. So I thought it was a good time like, to wrap everything, get my thoughts about books and everything. So I'm going to start by the paper cover box. Cover paper? Paper cover? I'm confused. The first book is by Raymond E. Faced. I don't know the title in English. What is that? Oh, something telling him good luck for work. What is the name of this book in English? Uh, magician in French, magician. So it is like some kind of three books kind of series. And if I'm not making a mistake, it's supposed like to have like uh, it's supposed to work like as trilogy. And at first you follow one character, and after you follow several. And there is also a trilogy that follow like different kind of character throughout, like ages and everything and the evolution and I think if I'm not making a mistake this one is the first of the trilogy of the trilogy it was weird to explain but someone explained it like me there is like three books why I can explain it uh, there are like three books for the first trilogy three books and three books and nine books in total and they work like that and I don't know if you can hear or understand this thing yeah so Maybe I should start. This one is the first book of the trilogy. I read it, loved it. Uh, I'm currently like trying to finish like the second one, but uh, I don't know something like I didn't really like about the story. I'm trying like to getting because I really want to know how it ends. Uh, but this is this is a bestseller at first, so I gave it away. Everyone has read it, I think, except me or my aunt or my godmother was telling me she had read it. Everyone like. And it is a story about a little boy, like named Pug. I love it. It reminds me of the dog. Uh, every time, I, I don't know. I love the name. It is, he has the name of a dog. I don't know. Uh, his name is Pug, and I have something on my nose. No, the story doesn't end like that. So his name, his name is Pug, and he is living like in a country, like uh, in a place where the, it is divided by royaume. I'm going to say so district. I don't know really how to say that and uh, in his like kind of kingdom yes kingdom maybe is like a bit of kingdom in his kingdom um, so when you are like uh, at the age I think of 11 or something like that uh, there is like some kind of big reunion with every like kind of big people like uh, the knife and the butcher and the kind of like different kind of um, how do you say metier in English? Profession and everything. So they all round up in a place and every like kind of little boy is going like to be trained and to be an apprentice of each of them. So everyone has to choose one or they go like I don't know I don't remember what they do with the one they are chosen. And um, everyone is picked and it's like the only one left and you don't worry what is going to happen and the magician has asked to help him and to endorse him, so he's going to work about uh, to work with the magician, and all the kind of world and the war and everything is going. In. It's really weird to explain, but it's really good, and you really like fell for this little boy, and you, so you are going to follow the little boy, and you're also going to find, follow his best friend, the kind of princess, kind of contest of uh, his kingdom, and it's really really good, and you are really coming with him and learning and next to kind of what is, is happening and you are going to see him taking part and everything in that and it is really good, I really enjoy this. 
the next book I had this on my shelf for like I just checked for since 2009 <laughs> I didn't read it I don't know it didn't get right by that time and it felt like a complicated book but the book I wanted to read and in English it is called The Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society I'm going to like to link to put like all the title down and I freaking love this book and you can see my love for post-it too on top of this uh, it was on my bag, I was reading this on my lunch break at work and <laughs> I even like miss my lunch go back to work uh, it is written like in some kind of letter kind of way some kind of uh, correspondence in French uh, kind of thing so they exchange letter and you have the the exchange of the letter and it is freaking good I don't know how to explain I don't I didn't want to read it because it's like based after like second war and everything like based of second war I don't want to like kind of hear sometimes about I'm a little bit like sick and tired it's hard to say but yeah uh, so did about a girl like uh, she was like some kind of war kind of writer and correspondent and yeah she was reading in the newspaper and she's like really bold and really like she she speak her mind she got like a little bit of trouble and she has wrote like also some biographies and everything and one day after the second war there is a guy like from uh, Ghana's Island who is like going to rot and they are going to start to change later you have also some letter for a publisher some friend and everything and it is weird it is she after the letter she wants like to she get in a project and you feel love you feel like kind of um a lot of mixed kind of feeling after second war and really how people must have been feeling like this kind of after after effect like you are kind of pst and everything and it was really surprising really good and uplifting it was really weird but seriously you need to check this book because it's beautiful so I'm going to talk about some poo I'm going to say uh, some not so that good that I didn't really enjoy some of those books there is I think two yes so the first one is I'm sorry I really really wanted to like it but I didn't uh, it is across the universe I fell in love with the, the English like uh, kind of cover I sold this book because it was like so bad so the book is basically about a girl and uh, there is a project where people are going to be creationized so they can be helpful like in century for some kind of new kind of project that she doesn't really know what is it about but her parents are going to be creationized and she has the choice to go with them or not and she's going to go with them I give you the plot, no I'm kidding uh, so she decided like to go with them but uh, she's going to be wake up like way early uh, to be like on the project and uh, if she has been waking up it's because someone kind of wanted to kill her in a way and so people have been killed because they have been waking up too early and they are not like supposed to be waking up that early it's weird to explain it was really a weird book it was really slow really like nothing really happened like in the other pages except she has been waking up and I don't know what really is going on and everything like even the end writing and the dialogue I didn't like them I didn't even finish a book I went to the end and when I read the end I was like what the heck is that and I realized it was like some kind of three books kind of series and I was like no no way I'm not going to read them I don't know what happened with this book I really expect it's I have so much expectation with this book that I was so frustrated by this I don't know it was like really like low writing really not kind of action the psychology even or the mental of the character is I don't know there is something missing there is like some kind of good idea at the beginning but something is missing really and three books of that what no I'm sorry if you love this book, I'm really really sorry, but it didn't like really felt like good for me. The other one I had, 
I was like uh, reading to the audio book and it was painful. Uh, this one, oh, I can see the picture on this. I really had also some really great kind of expectation about this book. And this book is Creole Beauty. I think I saw like a review about this book and the people like really liked it. Oh my goodness gracious. I wanted to kill the writer because everything like she was talking about, she was like, oh this and this and always repeating like the same kind of word and sentence but like every like maybe 10 pages or something like that that would have been like on the book. I don't know, it's supposed like to be based on the beauty and the beast kind of story. But oh my gosh, it was long, it was painful, I even like skip like some chapter because it was that painful for me. I really wanted to like it. But even like the girl who is reading this book, I wanted like to kill her. Oh my goodness gracious. I don't know why I want to kill people like today. <laughs> it was hard waking up on Sunday and go to work maybe. But no. What happened with this book? Um, so it's basically about... Uh, oh my god, I need to remember this because I made my mind to protect my mind. I think I forgot it. Um, there is a girl like who is like sent to like a, a castle, in a castle, and she's supposed like to save her people, like to kill the man who's leaving the castle, and it doesn't really happen that way. And it's weird, and for me it's a mix of Beauty and the Beast and Cinderella, in a way, but in a bad way and with no really story and she tried to do something but I don't know I didn't like really liked it no okay I don't know why uh, the, all these other book I have I can see like the cover uh, the other book I have read well, I have it was an audio book so it was even better it was by Ellen DeGeneres and he's seriously I'm kidding this book is like funny full of way and you can if you follow our show I kind of follow her but in French you can really get a show, except if you go like on cable or thing like that. Uh, you can find a show like some of our jokes. And when I was able to find them, I'm like, yeah, I know, she saw that that year, she says that so this was all year. I know, I'm kind of girl fan <laughs> moment. Uh, and it was very funny and you can find a personality and a way. And I think there was one chapter with like how to be a supermodel and everything about the cover collaboration with like cover girl and everything she is funny she is like beautiful and i think the audio version is even better than the book so really really good i really enjoy this so if you can get your hand on this get it and the audio version the book version must be like really nice but hearing her voice and how the soul can process in her mind is really really good so really enjoy this book contrary to the other ones okay i have another one who is like not going to follow like any like kind of category or anything like and this book uh is called who moved my cheese um it is a weird kind of maybe self-help kind of book and you have like i think two different or three different versions I uh, he I was like listening to the audiobook and you have one who is going to be with the story, like who moved my cheese kind of story, and after you have the debate or the kind of another kind of story of people like telling what they got from the stories. So this one is really really good. So you have like the story and an explanation and everything and I really enjoyed that. It was weird. The weirdest thing I think was was I was not allowed to to eat cheese while I was listening to that. I don't know why I was telling, I'm telling you that. I was not allowed to, to yes, to eat cheese by this period and reading or listening to a, a book about cheese was really, really weird. But it is some kind of parable kind of thing that you follow like four kind of character and after you can find which one you are and it's about change and about everything but putting in a really good way and then kind of yes kind of powerful kind of like child kind of story but you can get something from it and after like even you got something from the story but even like the, um you have some kind of reunion after that uh of the people like there is uh, at the beginning of the book there is someone like who is telling you 
uh, here I register it and you you should like um, hear about that so maybe they can help you like in your life and you have something else like reading and telling you the story about the story of the like cheese and everything and after you have the reunion and you even get like more information and more kind of thing that can explain everything it is good it is weird you are sometimes you don't want to hear the thing you are, you are going to get from the story and it is not all about about cheese but it's really nice and it's talking about change and how we, we embrace change and how to get it in a different way this really helped me <laughs> I kind of like close this everything down because I didn't have some memory space on my camera yay classic me uh, so I'm going to leave you there I'm going to edit this because it's going to be a really long video that I filmed like it was like more than 20 minutes I'm going to say uh, yeah um, I'm going to leave you there I'm going to wish you an amazing amazing week if you have also some book suggestion or everything like leave this in the down bar please in the comments yes I don't know <laughs> in the comments is better um, I'm going to thank you for watching this video I'm going to tell you you can like you can share you can subscribe uh, I'm also going to see you next week. I'm going to wish you an amazing, amazing, amazing day, an amazing, amazing week.